So thought we had a really great start to the game, obviously holding them to only five points in that first quarter. Um, and then, you know, the second quarter is obviously one that we struggled in uh, defensively. So we got to, we got to, you know, be better at that and, and continue to try to put 40 minutes together. We can't just because we're up, you know, 18 or 20, we have to continue to put, you know, keep the foot on the on the gas and, and continue to execute uh, defensively and then also just run our offense. We kind of went a little rogue there in the second quarter um, and took shots that weren't really in our rhythm and, and not really care. Like, it's just not what we do. Um, and that allowed them to get some easy baskets on the other end. But then I thought we responded extremely well um, to halftime and, and came out and defended with a lot more intensity. We rebounded extremely well, which I said, I know we're bigger than them, but sometimes it's harder because they're so little and then they're also five out a lot. It's hard to go out and have to get, you know, sometimes it's easier to get a close in box out. Um, but to be able to handle them, you know, easily on the boards was something that we were, you know, really, really focused in on. Uh, the you know we have been really the last couple of weeks so credit to to these guys for executing it and then I just really liked our uh, you know we just had a lot of players produce and a lot of players that that were able to to score but then also more importantly a lot of players that came in and rebounded at a high level so when you get a lot of a, a lot of people doing a lot of different things it takes a lot of pressure off and um, obviously, KB and Hobby both uh, produced a lot of points down low, which was something that we came in very intentional with. Um, and then Dale had a had an unbelievable game, um, and just really kind of all three levels was scoring and and just playing with such great energy that set the tone for us. So I'm, I'm happy with with our response. Uh, not happy with the second quarter, and you know we'll keep on keep on getting better one, one day at a time. For Adelia, just on your, your night tonight, are you kind of more happy with the 20 points and how you were able to get an offensive flow or, you know, the responsibility of holding two to three points? Um, first, I just want to thank God because I keep experiencing his goodness, but I'm just proud of my teammates and how they pushed me to be able to have a performance like that. And, you know, I just want to help the team in whatever way I can. So if it's points, then cool. But if it's all across the board, then yeah. And, Coach Green pushes me every day for defense and to be that defensive presence, and I want to do that every game. So I'm just proud overall. Diana, know we talked a lot about you working on expanding your game through the summer, but what's the key to do that during the season, and what can seeing a couple go in tonight from three do for you? Yeah, um, it definitely gave me confidence because that's something I've been working on. But again, Coach Green talked to me about staying consistent during the season with getting workouts in. So just staying consistent on the floor and you know, putting in that work, and it's true, hard work does pay off. Ken, no back here. Uh, in the first half, Genesis hit you on a over-the-shoulder, no-look pass. I'm going to assume that's something you don't work on in practice, but <laughs> no. when that ball flew <laughs> flew over her shoulder, was it a, you know, a, a must for you to complete that play? Absolutely. I mean, with Jen, you know, she does have some crazy passes at times, so whenever she drives, I am always ready. Like, my hands are up. I'm expecting it to come to me if she's halfway in the air. So just always being ready for her passes, for sure. Kendall, Coach kind of referenced it, but the five out that they played a little bit, how much can that maybe help you with a different look you know, this early in the season, maybe in the Big Ten play or someone that you might see down the road? I think a lot, especially since I'm playing a little bit more of the four this year. You know, a lot of the fours in the Big Ten are kind of like guards. So I think just being able to work on it with some of these teams that, you know, at this point in the season will just kind of help me just kind of feel more comfortable in it, just kind of get a groove going and just kind of know what I'm going to need to do at that point. So, you know, last year I got to, you know, stay down low quite a bit. So being able to kind of move out and kind of guard out there has been really good. We see you guys cheering and celebrating, getting really wild on the sidelines after your teammates make really good plays. What does it mean to you guys to see the freshman or the sophomore make such strong moves during a game? Oh, I love it. You know, it's just kind of, we've been kind of harping on them just about confidence. You know, over the summer we would, when we play pickup kind of on our own, like they just, you know, doing all these moves, like dominating and they get in practice or in games and they're like scared to shoot and it's like, we see what you do. And so when they actually go out there and do it, it just kind of like have that confidence and you see that confidence being built. It, I think it's great. Yeah, I love celebrating for my teammates. Like just seeing your teammates succeed, that's everything. So seeing the freshmen step up and everyone comes in, you know, 
everyone got a rebound today. Like, that's huge. And just being able to dance on the sideline just brings me so much joy. <laughs> No, you've been someone that's been around Adelia for, for a long stretch here. Um, what have you maybe kind of seen from her development um, that that's kind of led to what she's been able to do the last couple of games? I really think confidence. You know, uh, I'll say her sophomore season when Coach Green first got here, I really saw like a shift in her confidence and just her work ethic and just being in here all the time and just being able and being willing to like change her game. And I really think this year it's just kind of fine tuning those things. And I really think she's done and made a conscious effort to like kind of expand her game a little bit which will help change the scout on her and which will help us as a whole so just i'm really proud of her just being able and being willing to kind of expand that game because i know it's hard at this level to make kind of the change like that so just kind of her energy and just her willingness to adapt <clears throat> <Yes, KB. laughs> um uh, uh what can you guys take away from tonight's performances uh I kind of carry it to the next couple matchups, particularly against like Big Ten matchups. I would say just take more pride on defense. Like defense is huge for us, and it's a part of our identity. But just being more locked in and more focused, and getting those stops. Like, like Coach Green said, can't have another second quarter like that. So we got to be intense and locked in, and just be a dog. Yeah, I would say just doing what we do and just kind of sticking to our principles. I feel like sometimes with these teams, it's it's very easy just to kind of fall prey, just to like, oh, they're standing, we're going to stand, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so just kind of not, like locking in with these teams and being able to push for however long we're in there and knowing that like we're going to have to start every game at an elite level from this point forward because all the teams are capable of beating us, all teams are capable capable of hitting threes, like all that stuff. So just kind of being on high alert um, at all points in the game, there's no time to relax. Dali, I saw you kind of nodding along when Kendall talked about how challenging it is to expand your game at this level. Like what makes it challenging and how do you kind of find your way through that? Um, you know, when you utilize your strengths, it's comfortable just doing that. And driving, I know that's one of my strengths and I love going to the basket, but it does take a lot of time and effort to get consistent reps, you know, and it takes sacrifice and sacrifice isn't always easy, but I'm surrounded by a great team and great coaches, so they make it easier for me to just, you know, get better at that. And speaking to that a little bit, both of you were here through the, the coaching change. What has Coach Green done for you guys to really change that culture and make you like, you want to be excited to come play every day? Um, just really like put me in positions where I can succeed and just kind of help me like speaking of expanding games like just kind of expand my game just b instilling that confidence in me which isn't something I've had really before at this level like just kind of the confidence to step out and shoot a three the confidence to go up like she's never going to tell you not to shoot a shot like I don't think that's very heard of at this level so just kind of knowing that like okay, she has confidence in me to be able to do all these things. Like, it makes it fun and it makes it a little more relaxing, which is which I think helps everything. Yeah, I agree. I thank God for Coach Green. Like, she literally has changed my life, like, changed my perspective on basketball and life outside of basketball, just going hard every day and, you know, never giving up. And I believe in myself so much because how much she believes in me. So I really appreciate her. Delia, how much does your – uh, how much does your defense kind of translate to maybe you getting confident offensively on the other end? Yeah, uh, defense gives me so much energy to go and play some offense, but it feels good getting stops, you know, getting steals and just letting that translate to offense. So defense does give me a lot of energy in the game. Coach, one, one more non-conference game before Michigan. Are, are you pleased with where the, where the team is at and is heading into Big Ten play? And how, how do you utilize that kind of unusual uh, week-long break? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm happy with where, you know, we're at. I, I don't know if I – Coach is ever happy, happy, you know, like of where I think we can be better in certain things. I think we've shown growth in certain areas. I think we still have to get better in certain areas, but this is this is a time of the year that you're doing that. You look at teams across the country. You know, it's this is a time to to get better and to learn from some of these early tests. So, you know, it'll be a it'll be a good one for us against Northern Kentucky, um, and then we have you know a couple days and we're right into Michigan. So, 
Um, got a little bit of time here uh, before our next game where, you know, hopefully we can use it like we did last week. I thought last week was great for us having a week of practice. I don't, I don't think the players probably liked it, but, um, you know, we, we really worked. And um, it, that's what we got to do right now. So, uh, yes and no. I still think, though, we, you know, we still need more reps and practice time and games together. Um, just because we haven't all been together, you know. Yeah, last game right was our first game with everyone uh, dressed. So and today was our second one. So we'll keep getting better. Coach, you referenced multiple times just how much you consider Adelia to be an X factor for this team. Why is she that type of player for you guys? Do you feel like her energy, her her energy, her intensity? Um, she just has like I mean, you look at her, right? You she just kind of just just joy comes out of her. And not many people have that, where it's just positivity, like overflowing with her. And she, I, I, you know, I, I love that kid to death. And, and there's no one I'm probably yell at more than Adelia, because I know what she's capable of being. And, and push her and push her, and she just takes it, because she just, she's a sponge, she wants to be great. And that's the, from the first conversation, I you know, that I ever had with her. She said, I will, you know, I want to win Big Ten championships. I'll do whatever you need me to do. And, like, she has done that day in and day out. And for the last three weeks, she struggled early. Like, she struggled. She wasn't. I'm like, this isn't the same Dell that we're used to last year. And from the last three weeks, she has been absolutely amazing, energy high, every day in practice, um, every game. And when she's like that, it just – it. it Everyone feeds off her. She sets a tone for us just from a, just from an energy factor. So to see her, you know, have this success, you're just really happy for her because I know the work she's put in. Shauna, when you hear those two say what they said, um, how much does that? I don't want to say validate, but kind of let you know that you guys are trending in the right direction as a program. I mean, I don't think it, you know, it validates because I I know the relationship we have. I know, you know. I know our relationship. I know the, the, the trust between us, um, you know, and it's, it's why, it's why we do what we do, you know, to hear, you know, some of these kids say some of that stuff. It, it's not validation. It just is, it makes you feel good because I feel the same way about them and, and I trust them with everything I love. I love them like they're my own kids. And, um, and we go through a lot together <laughs> every single day. We go through good, bad. We've seen each other on our worst days, our best days, um, and to see them have success is, is what I want, you know, on the floor and more importantly, off the floor. Uh, so it, it's built on relationships and it's built on, you know, really trusting one another. Um, and, and I want these guys, I tell them all the time, this is their journey. You know, I, I want to win, but I want them to win. I get my joy watching them have joy and them have success. So to see them when they're out there playing at that level, um, that's what this is about. Did you get a sense tonight that this could be an Adalia night just because of the defensive respon you know, responsibility she had, that that could get her going pretty early? You know, I just, I've been feeling really confident just because, like I said, just how, she, how she's been every single day in practice. And, and even, you know, even yesterday, I, I had to say, I haven't had to say anything to her in practice for about two weeks. Like, she's just been constant motor, constant energy, um, defending, just like she said it. She's like, she's just been a dog, like, a every day. And yesterday, there was one moment I said something to her. She was kind of slacking a little bit. I said something to her, and boom, she bounced right back. And that's when I know that there's been growth because there were some times last year where maybe the response wasn't that quickly. Maybe she couldn't bounce back that quickly. And, and she's just been – her mindset, her energy, um, her ability right now to just execute on both ends is at an elite level. And I'm going to try not to mess with it. I'm just going to keep letting her go and, and doing her thing and, and keep – you know, keep just keep her in a confident state of mind because she's playing really, really well right now. Coach, there was there was a stretch there where we saw Gretchen Dolan on the floor with four starters. Can is there anything we can read into that in terms of how you see her role growing? I, I mean, she needs to you know she needs to get experience with them, and and I trust her that much. I mean, she's she's a hell of a player. Um, 
and, and she'll continue to get better and better with, with more experience. And it's good for her to play with those guys too. You know, it's because she's going to be playing with them. She's going to have to play with them. And, and, and you know, as we go on and, and Big Ten games, like she's going to have to have to play in those. So, uh, no, I wouldn't read into it, but besides, she's going to play. <laughs> and, and we need her to. No, Adele, you talked about just the challenges of doing something you're not as comfortable with and stepping out. Like, how hard is that from your vantage point for a player to kind of do that on in a game like this, right, and just kind of continuously build? Yeah, and she's she's been working on it. She worked on it last summer. She worked on it this summer, you know, and I was. I've been on her about, you know, you, you work your butt off all summer. Now season starts. You still got to get in the gym and get those reps up. You need to get reps. All these guys, they got to get, like, for her, I'm like, get on the gun and get reps from three. And, and all these guys are getting in so much with their position coaches. And, you know, Dal and I, a couple weeks ago, I worked her out uh, a few times just to kind of get, because we did it last year some. Um, so they got to get in and get and get those reps in. So, uh, but a lot of times you want to go to your strengths, right? You, you want to keep working on it. Same thing with KB and Hobby. We're working them every day of, of being able to, you know, to pick and pop. And then I've also been pretty adamant with those guys telling them, I really want you guys, if you're open, to shoot them now. I want you to shoot them now to get confidence. So now, you know, against Michigan, Dell's not thinking. She, she's just going to shoot it. So, you know, I, I've been telling them uh, I'm completely fine, as uh, long as it's within our offense, uh, to shoot those. And, and hopefully this can spark some confidence and, and she can continue to hit those. She's capable of doing it. I see it in practice. I see it in the summer. It's just, you know, it's a little bit different when the, the lights are bright out there in a game. You kind of reference this, but just, you know, um, Kendall having to guard more on the perimeter, you know, f with the way they play the five out. What, you know, does it, how much can that benefit your team? And is that maybe something you look at from a non-conference matchup whenever, you know, you're scheduling someone to kind of get a different look for your team? Yeah, and it's a lot. It's like that a lot against some of these, you know, these low mid, uh, low major, mid major teams where they're playing pretty much four guards. Sometimes shoot, they're almost playing five guards. You know, even tonight it was pretty much five guards. So, I think that that's good. It, it, those are those are good looks for us. And again, in a situation like this, for KB and even Hobby to to get some, and Bryn and Shea too to get some experience and you know, hopefully have a little success against this to give you some confidence because there's a lot of teams in our league that, you know, they do. They play a more athletic four player. Um, or, and if KB is going to be at the four, that's always my question. If we're going to go big, can our four guard the other four? I'm not worried about the offense. The offense will be an advantage to us. I'm worried about the defensive matchup. So hopefully it'll lead, uh, you know, just getting those reps in. And hopefully they'll really, really help us. Because, again, KB didn't have to play four last year. So... Uh, a lot of this is new for her, and and I think she's done a really good job with it. Uh, you guys shot at eighty nine percent from the free throw line tonight. Uh, what do you what do you make of your of that consistency tonight? And uh, do you put any emphasis? Uh, how much of an emphasis do you put on that uh, in practice? Yeah, we shoot them every day in practice. Uh, you know, and, and every day we're pretty much eighty five percent or higher. Uh, so a couple of those games early and we were shooting when we didn't shoot it well, you know, I was shocked because we make them all the time in practice. So, you know, free throws, they're all mental. They're, they're, it's, it's a mindset. It's, it's confidence. Uh, you know, I know that as a player and I know it now as a coach. Like you can make them all in practice, uh, but you got to go up there and, and you got to, you know, tell yourself that thing's going in. It's, it's the confidence piece. It's a mindset. And I'm really proud of us because we've been shooting it really well the last couple games. And, and we've also been getting to the free throw line a lot, which is something that's really important for us. So uh, we got to continue that trend. Coach, we see the women being very vocal on the court, especially Shay and Adalia. How important is that for the ladies to communicate and just be in sync overall on the court? It's the most important thing that we do. If they don't talk, believe me, they're going to. I talk about talking more than I talk about anything. And I get sick of talking about talking because when we don't do it. Um, so, if, and if you're not talking, you're probably gonna be sitting next to me. Uh, so they end up talking. So it's very important. When you have someone like Shay who goes one for six from the field but has 
seven rebounds, including two on the offensive glass. <clears throat> How big of an emphasis do you put on finding ways to make an impact, even if maybe your shot isn't falling? As we just talked about that in the locker room, and I talk about it all the time. Make an impact. Find a way to make an impact. Everyone now, right, everyone thinks. First thing that someone asks you after a game or a parent will ask, what do they ask? How many points did you score? Like, no, it's not about that. How, how did you impact the game? And if you do that defending, if you do that rebounding, if you do that diving on the floor for loose balls, if you do that from the bench, just being the best teammate and the loudest person cheering for your teammates from the bench, then you have impacted the game. And we talk about it nonstop. In fact, I just talked about it yesterday to them. I talked about it after our last game. Uh, that is our culture. And when they're not doing it, it's my job as a leader to, to get them to do that. So it's, it's critical. We only saw about 15 minutes from Bryn tonight. Is there any specific reason for that? And like, what do you want to see more of from her going forward? Yeah, there's no, you know, pretty much everyone kind of played 15, 16 minutes. So there was very, very even. Only Jen and Makaira played 30. Otherwise, everyone's in the low 20s to 15. So, um, you know, there's nothing. Bryn's been doing what she needs to do just with all these guys, especially our fours and our fives, rebound, 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 rebound. Um, they're gonna, her shots are going to go. Uh, she only took three. Uh, so she just needs a rebound so then she can manufacture uh, more things for us. But that's not just Bryn. That's every single person we're constantly talking about. Um, so especially in that position, uh, we need those guys to rebound at a, at a high level. Some of the full court stuff you guys did defensively, stuff you're working on, adding more than if so, like what can that do for you guys? You know, we've done it now. We did it against Canisius, pretty much the full game. We did it here, and I, find, I pulled it off on the fourth. But, you know, it's kind of that fine line. That's why I, even, you know, I was playing. I know we're up, but I we still, like, I'm, I'm kind of caught in that area of we still need to get our guys minutes, right? And, and Makaira hasn't played. They haven't played together. So I'm like, I know we're up 30. I don't want anything, anyone to get an injury, but I still, we need, we need, we need reps. We need game reps. So same thing kind of to go to, you know, our defense. Um, we've something new we put in this year and, and, you know, did it the last couple games. I think we could do it here and there. I don't know if we can do it um, for 40 minutes against a big 10 team, but just something where we're trying to manufacture some turnovers. Cause we don't, we're not a turnover forcing team. You guys know our defense but maybe something where we can steal a possession here or there and steal four points even, four to six points um, a game. So they like it. Uh, even tonight, I told them that we weren't playing it. Uh, and I said, actually, it's on you guys. If you, you guys talk about it, if you want to, this is like in the fourth or into the third, I said, if you guys want to play it, you, it's on you. And I looked out and they're playing it. So uh, that's what I like to see, that they're bought into it, that they want to play it because it takes a lot of energy and it takes hard work. So we'll see. We'll see if it uh, makes any difference, if it's effective at all in the Big Ten. Uh, I hope it is. But we'll uh, ask me after Michigan and we'll see. <laughs> Everybody good? Appreciate you guys.